What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave and this video here is basically my review and my impressions of this incredible, amazing OLED TV uh, that I've had for, you know, for a few days now, but I've been putting a lot of hours into it and I pretty much have it all dialed in the way I like it. Um, so first and foremost guys, uh, this is the CX C10 2020 model. Uh, this is the, the upgrade to the successor of the C9, which is regarded as a flagship OLED. Um, the picture is, is, is amazing, guys. This, this TV gives you the most detailed images for video, for games, for anything you want to watch on this TV. Sports looks incredible. There's very little motion blur on this TV. It's got great settings. The smart interface is fantastic. The remote control is wonderful. Uh, this remote's got the, uh, the, it's called the Magic Remote. It's got the cursor here, you can move around the screen. Uh, ThinQ is an incredible smart home interface where it dials in all your, your smart devices. Uh, your home dashboard tells you what you have plugged in. Uh, your TV, of course, is your antenna or, or internet TV. Um, and then your recents goes to, to your recent uh, devices you've been into. Uh, the interface is great. If you're looking for a smart TV, this has all your bases covered. Um, with YouTube, it gives you the most recent uh, uh, videos you've watched. Netflix, your most recent uh, TV shows you've watched. It's really fantastic. Uh, Plex is my computer server, which I have more of my movie files on. Uh, you can put your own uh, uh, YouTube channel, that your most you know, your favorite YouTube channel, which of course mine is the Raf Cave. Uh, you know, go figure, right? <laughs> and then um, you can put, you know, Voodoo is great. All these apps, guys, you can customize these apps any way you want them. Um, it works with Alexa, Google Assistant uh, on here, uh, Art Gallery, if you want to put like artwork and, and things like that on your screen. Um, I haven't done this, it's the first time doing this right here. So basically, um, LG can add, lo or add uh, themes so you can play these nice, uh, cool backgrounds and have some nice music playing as well, um, which is awesome. This is a great feature that this TV uh, offers you. I gotta tell you guys, the, the look of this TV is fantastic. Uh, super thin. Uh, I mean, you can wall mount this TV and it's really close to the wall. Uh, it's just a beautiful look in the back. It's got that brushed aluminum look. So thin, guys. That's what just blows my mind how thin this is. Amazing viewing angles. Uh, you can be you know on the far side and it always looks great. The inputs are fantastic here, guys. You got four HDMI 2.1 inputs, Ethernet, uh, USB, you got uh, optical, you got eARC, ARC for output, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, all that good stuff passes through. Just wonderful inputs, guys. So it's really great also, it goes into a screen saver mode. So if you have a still image on for too long or an app is on and you're not moving around, it'll automatically go to this really cool fireworks uh, screen saver here. So whenever you push the button on your remote, the, the TV will come back, but it's just another nice feature to have uh, to prevent any uh, potential of burn-in or image retention. Uh, one thing I want to suggest or recommend about um, with this TV is not to have it in vivid mode or the super high contrast mode all the time and not, you know, leave it on a still image like a CNN ticker or um, stock market ticker and just leave and go get some groceries and, and, you know, when you're buying this TV, you know you're getting the best image quality and you're going to spend some money on it. So you know the technology of this TV. As long as you're smart about it, guys, you're not going to have burn-in on this TV unless you're deliberately trying to abuse the screen. There, there's preventative features called pixel shifting, uh, panel refresh, and also logo uh, luminance dim dimming. So there's, there's ways to, that this TV is helping you and helping prevent any kind of that uh, potential image uh, retention, which I've never experienced in my two and a half years of owning an OLED as a computer monitor and a video game machine. Fantastic. So now that we have all of the different themes downloaded, we'll say Wonders of Nature. You select that. And it'll play various artwork paintings and different frames with nice classical music in the background. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So if you own a wall mount a TV, and have artwork playing on it that looks like a like a painting or a TV and make it look beautiful. This is what you want right here. It's awesome. 
And then another one is the animated screensavers. I kind of like this rainy day one. Watch the monument in the background, cherry blossoms, nice rain. It's almost like you have a window right here. It's a window looking outside. Look at that. That's so cool. And that's free. It comes with a TV. Just fantastic. So moving back here, what else we got? So the content store is nice. This is where you want to download more apps that aren't automatically on the uh, on the bottom row. So you know, like the you know Disney Plus and all these things. I mean, you can add all those apps to it, no problemo. So this is a really cool store. Um, watching 4K Netflix. Uh, let's check this out. Watch a 4K demo real quick. So we'll just look up like say uh, Iceland HDR, right? We'll select this automatically in your top right corner. It'll say HDR, and you're gonna watch 4K HDR images on uh, YouTube. All kinds of content you guys can watch, and it all looks stunning. The menus are pretty great. Um, this is a quick one here. Now this is filmmaker mode. It'll automatically go into this if you'd like. Um, and filmmaker mode is a new for this year, and it gives you the absolute uh, cleanest picture that the director intended on uh, seeing uh, this kind of this kind of images, which I'd recommend because I mean I don't really want want to alter um, the original content. I want to make sure it looks the way it w way it should look, you know. But just breathtaking picture, guys. Just the color is fantastic. Detail is incredible on this. No judder or motion blur at all. It's just a really clean look. So that's going to be uh, YouTube HDR. Beautiful. And we'll back out of here. And we'll see what's next here. Uh, so local TV, of course, is great. Um, like I said before, you know, hook up an antenna to this TV. You'll get a very nice detailed guide uh, to show you all the channels that are currently on. You can, you know... Uh, categorize it by all different genres here and uh, be able to search for anything you're looking for. Uh, tons of channels. My antenna gives me about 50 channels for free. And then there's also the uh, in internet TV channels as well. So really cool for an on-screen guide. Very in 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 informative and good detail. It looks clean. It's a very good look. Uh, for, the, for the remote control, guys, uh, it does have a, a, a microphone so you can speak to it and tell it what you want it to do. Um, it does have hotkeys of Netflix and Amazon Prime, um, but it's a very clean remote, very easy to use. I'm just gonna hold down the microphone button and ask a few questions. Let's watch Netflix. So it goes to the Netflix app and boom, there you go is your Netflix. And uh, Dolby Vision on here is really, really great. Um, we'll say, you know, Altered Carbon, always one of my uh, go-to shows for showing off really good content in HDR uh, and Dolby Vision with Dolby Atmos, by the way, which is great. Uh, this particular show here, Altered Carbon, uh, really good detail, good color, good black levels. Another nice feature about the C, uh, XC10 is it gives you what's called Dolby Vision IQ, which is an automatic uh, uh, light control to dial in Dolby Vision perfectly depending on the light conditions of your room. So if you have some more lights in the room, it's gonna bring it up. If you have less lights in the room, it's gonna bring it down to give you the ultimate picture for Dolby Vision. That's new for this year, and it works very, very well. Uh, let's exit out of Netflix here. And then um, video games. Holy cow, guys. Video games are ridiculously amazing. Um, Let's, let's flip on some uh, Xbox One X and I'll show you a little bit of uh, the feature there. Now one of the great things about this as well, guys, is it'll automatically go into uh, video game mode. Uh, there's uh, auto lay latency on here and um, uh, variable refresh rate if your uh, console supports it. Um, but what I like to show is the, the, the Doom Eternal is my current game that I'm playing, which is uh, on live stream, by the way. Um, you click on this, you'll notice in the upper right corner, it'll say a switching into game mode. And that'll put it um, into the lowest input lag, which is sub 10 
uh, milliseconds, um, definitely less than that. Um, but this has uh, new for this year is the uh, H HGIG. It's a brand new uh, um, HDR info gaming group, um, something like that, which basically ensures the best HDR gaming experience you can uh, you can receive. Um, which is really cool as there's a different way to uh, adjust it Now games on this guys, let me just tell you it's super responsive super clean graphics are ridiculous It's just the best gaming experience that I've ever experienced and I'm sure that you will ever experience one thing I want to do show you for for this year is the uh, how to activate H HDLG or HDIG basically you want to go to all settings uh, And you go down, to, you know go to picture setting here you go down to advanced controls and you want to go to dynamic tone mapping to activate HGIG. It's right down here. You do that right there and you'll get the absolute best HDR gaming experience you've ever seen. It's amazing, guys. So gaming, thumbs up big time. Um, let's go to, um, I'm going to show you a, a, a movie scene here, uh, which is in filmmaker mode. So we got Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for Avengers Endgame on Voodoo. Um, so we'll go to the very last scene here and show some of this incredible movie on this incredible TV. All right, let's watch the scene okay. real quick here. So this is Endgame on Voodoo. Sorry. Pretty I'm incredible. Please try in a little while. Pretty incredible picture here, guys. Um, not much to say other than, uh, yeah, it's 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 a visual treat watching movies on this uh, OLED TV. Infinite black on the top and bottom. Great sound. Everything looking smooth and clean. There's no judder. Everything looks like a cinematic experience uh, when you're watching movies on it. Just wonderful, guys. Just absolutely wonderful. So when you hook up a nice sound system to this, you're in for a really good treat, man. This is really, really fun. So movies give it an A+. Plus. Uh, I'm seeing pores in skin. I'm seeing great color. I'm seeing just great black levels. Everything just pops. It's just something that uh, I just love. It's just awesome, guys. Um, so I'm just going to show a little bit of that just because, you know, copyright uh, laws and stuff like that. Can't show too much, but let me tell you guys, it is absolutely great. Now, as far as brightness goes, it gets about, if you're into the numbers, it's like 780, 800 nits or something like that. Um, now, this TV is not really meant for uh, a really bright room with a lot of windows and lights and all these things like living room or you know, you know, sunroom or something like that. It's meant for a, a dimmable room, a basement, darker room that you can control the light to really appreciate the infinite black. You want to see that deep, deep black, which gives you the best depth in the picture. It's just amazing. Only this OLED can give you that technology right now. It's just awesome. Um, so sports looks amazing. You know, I watch a lot of football. Um, I did some testing on you know, some soccer and some tennis and stuff. And there's a completely clean picture, no judder, no uh, you know, lag or uh, motion blur or anything like that. It's just a clean image. Um, OLED's really nailed the, the sporting uh, type, you know, uh, picture quality. Otherwise, uh, other than that, guys, I mean, this, is, this TV is just awesome. I really recommend getting it. Um, I know the C9 is probably at a good price right now. You can definitely go with that, which is great. Uh, but going for the, the latest and greatest and the, the brand new processor, the A9 Gen 3, is, is just something that, you know, having that extra muscle, having that extra horsepower in the processing can only mean better image quality and future updating, which I'd recommend. Uh, the HGIG is great for gaming. Uh, Dolby Vision IQ is awesome for getting the most performance of Dolby Vision depending on your room room lighting. Filmmaker mode, getting the maximum image quality from the director's intent is what you really want for here. The sound is great. Now, I didn't touch on the sound. 
Um, this has AI sound technology, so it really expands the, uh, the, the sound stage of the audio and gives you cleaner uh, dialogue uh, for voices. So the sound quality and just the speakers of the TV is not bad at all. Very impressive. I was very impressed. You'll see that on my unboxing video if you want to check out the audio. Um, it's got all the inputs I need. It's future ready. It's future. It's got all the technology I want uh, from now into the future. So I'm giving this, you know, definitely going to give this a nine out of ten. Um, I just think that's a fantastic picture. Fantastic features. Loving it. Uh, reason why I give it a ten. Uh, why don't I give it a ten? You know what? Screw it. I give this TV a 10 out of 10. It is the perfect TV uh, for me and my needs and for my location. And for me, gaming is most important. And this is the perfect gaming TV uh, for me. I love it. I'm very excited to own this TV. And I'm going to play a lot more of everything on it. And it's just going to look better and better the more I use it. Um, I highly recommend getting your TV calibrated if you can. This does have auto calibration mode if you want to get a, 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 a sensor and the software. I, I'm, I didn't get into that, so but it's there if you want. <clears throat> Otherwise, guys, uh, not much else to say about this TV other than, than, than wow. It is the wow experience if you want the best image quality for your, if you're viewing. Pleasure. Definitely check out LG OLED C10 CX. This is a 55. They do come in a 65. They come in a 77. And they will have a gaming PC-friendly 48-inch coming out in a few months. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, comment below if you have any questions on this or any, if, you're, uh, if you're looking to get one yourself, I'd recommend it. Thumbs up to you guys. Otherwise, uh, you can get this at Best Buy right now uh, for $19.99. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, all right, guys, I'm just going to go back to enjoying this TV. I love it. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Home Theater Rules. Wrath out. See ya.